Hey everybody! So today's tutorial is actually a request that I got from my friend Ben and he requested that I do a sort of a zombie look for a project that we're actually going to be doing but I will get to that later on during the video. So um, what I wanted to do was sort of the beginning stage of when you're a zombie so when you get bit and then you are dying you become very sick, your veins are just popping up and they are very noticeable. Um, you start getting really pale, you start getting bruising around your body. Yeah, you basically look like you got beat up and like you are... dead. So for this makeup, I actually did a prosthetic, which is a bite mark prosthetic that I made out of gelatin. Now, if you want to see how I made this prosthetic, then just comment down below or message me on Facebook or Instagram and Twitter, which the links will be down below, BT Dubs. And you can send me a message saying you guys want to see a video based on this, and I will gladly make a video. Anyways, moving on to the story. So, um, the director would actually love to know if you guys have any ideas that we could use in this movie. Um, again, just message me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter for, um... If you guys have any requests on what you guys want to see in the movie, we are still currently developing um, the concept of the entire um, project, but yeah, it's not going to be done till like next year or like the year after. I really don't know, but we're still in the current process of writing the script and just thinking who the characters are going to be um, working on the makeup and stuff, so yeah. So now I really hope that you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial, and if you do, please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel because that really helps me out. Also, if you have any requests, you can visit my Facebook page, Instagram, and Twitter, which the links will be down below, as I said earlier during the video. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial, and let's get started. Okay, so first things first, I'm sorry if the audio sounds really crappy, I'm just using the recorder that's in my laptop. Now, what I'm doing is that I'm taking the prosthetic that I'm going to use for this look, which I made myself out of gelatin, and I'm going to take spear gum, and I'm going to attach the prosthetic to my skin using the spear gum. What you want to do is to apply the spear gum where you're going to attach the prosthetic to your skin and then you're going to tap it till it becomes soggy. Once tapped and you're going to apply the prosthetic on top and make sure that all the edges are well stuck down and blended to the skin. We're going to take some wood hazel and blend the edges of the gelatin prosthetic into our skin. Make sure to do this about 4 or 5 layers until you feel that there is no end. So now what I'm doing here is that I'm texturing a sponge using my fingers and then I'm taking a light fresh foundation from Graftobian and my Maylon Crown White and I'm mixing them together to make it sort of like a light flesh skin tone color or like a dead really pale skin tone and I'm dabbing the foundation all over my face. Now the reason for the textured sponge is because I wanted to have some texture to my skin. Obviously when you become sick you become very dehydrated, your skin gets paler, um, your skin just looks very uneven so I wanted to have sort of an uneven texture in my skin and when you're dabbing the foundation make sure that you cover your face, neck, ears and any exposed skin.
Mr. Sunday to congratulate me, and I actually applied the color on the bottom lids of my eyes just to give up the illusion that I'm just very sick, tired, and dead, practically, even though this is supposed to be like a recently inflicted person look. And then I switched to an eyeshadow brush, or in my case, an artist brush, and I actually took some black eyeshadow and I applied this on the top of my lids just to make them look sunken in um dead sort of but i didn't want anything too exaggerated because this is like a recently infected person look so what i did was that i just dabbed the color on top and with the brush i just blended the color outwards also emphasizing the bags underneath my eyes with the same black eyeshadow i contoured my cheekbones and my temples lightly Then I took a brown cream makeup from Graftobian and I applied the color on my top lids just to add a little bit of more color to my eyelids. This is my favorite part out of the whole entire look. This is where I start texturing and coloring the prosthetic using my favorite palette in the whole entire universe, which is the Onset Effects Palette from Skin Illustrator, which I got online for like $45. I really wish I had the bigger version, but for now I'm trying out the smaller version. And what I'm doing first is that I'm taking the blood tone color from that palette and I'm just coloring in the bite marks. And then I'm going to take the old age blood tone from the Skin Illustrator palette and I'm going to go on the edge, on the inner edge of each bite mark just to make them look older and deeper. A little reminder is that you need 99% isopropyl alcohol to work with this palette or you need to buy the activator that comes separate from the palette. with the bristled brush and just splattering it on the prosthetic because it will make it look more realistic. Um, what it does is that it, 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 it doesn't only add color, it adds texture. Ah, my phone, I'm sorry. And at the same time, it makes it look really patchy, more skin-like. Remember that skin is made up of different colors, not just a plain flat tone. And then I keep switching to greens and just yellows to make it look very irritated, very bruised very infected and zombie-like and I just keep working my way from reds to greens to yellows to blues to even bruised own color. Now what you want to do is to go back and forth between the colors so keep switching from greens to yellows to reds until you finally have this perfect, irritated, um, infected zombie-like texture and color to the skin. And also at the end, just take the bruise tone from the palette and just splatter it on top of the prosthetic just to make it look very bruised and, you know, yeah, bruised. <laughs>
I took the brew tone color again from the effects palette from Skin Illustrator and a small thin flat brush and I started drawing veins coming from the prosthetic outward into my skin just to make it look very zombie like and infected. Also I did the same thing with the blue color but I just did it lightly on the skin. I did not want anything too opaque. I wanted it to resemble like if it was underneath my skin so what I did was that I took a lot of alcohol and just a small amount of the paint and I just drew in the veins thinly around my cheeks, my neck and um, I actually drew them also coming out of my eyes and uh, my lips which you will see later on during the video so basically what I did was uh, I literally just went crazy drawing veins I had so much fun drawing the veins I got carried away even but yeah, all that you want to do is just basically have fun with this look, just keep drawing the veins, make them look very zombie-like, and yep, just have fun, just fill it up with veins, and yeah. So then I took the brew tone color from the effects palette on a q-tip and I actually dabbed the color going down my smile lines as well as my nose just to make them look more reddish and more sick like if you know what I mean when you scratch your nose when you're sick you sometimes tend to get a little bit of irritation going on around the nose so I wanted to have that effect in there as well as I added the brew tone around my eyes and also in random patches across my face. Then I took the red from the Bendai Master Brew Seal and I actually added the color on the corners of my eyes, on the outer corners of my eyes, just to make them look a little bit more irritated. Then I added Grastobian's Blood Paste or Scab Blood which is basically kind of like a pasty um, blood consistency used in special effects makeup. Now, what you want to do is to apply the fake blood paste to the scab using a spatula. And what this is going to do is going to fill it up with sort of a um, pasty blood kind of thing. It looks more like muscle and just torn flesh if you think about it. It looks a little bit more realistic and I really like using this because it makes it look more chunky. And at the same time, I added the blood running down my nose, almost like if my organs were just coming out of my mouth and my nose, and there's just muscle and just chunks of flesh just coming out of there, and it's all disgusting and bloody and gory. 
And then I added liquid fake blood to the wound, and there's really no rhyme or reason to this. You basically just want to take a brush or even use a spatula and just add this to the um, wound. Um, you just want to let that drip, and when it drips, you want to take a um, like a tissue or a piece of toilet paper, and you just want to splatter it and really get it all around the wound. It's going to make it look more realistic, and it's going to add that redness that wound tend to have and just the blood goes everywhere and it looks so nasty i really like using this technique and um yeah so after all of this you are done